In this video, you will learn how to create a one-page website in WordPress step-by-step -step using the SeedProd drag-and-drop website builder. We'll be creating a clone of an Apple parody website called Apple Plugs, which you can find at appleplugs.com. Learning how to create a one-page website with a simple modern design is a great way to present information to users in a clear way without having them to click away. Everyone here at SeedProd loves having you part of the community, so please like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of future videos so you don't miss our tutorials and important announcements. Let's get started. So right now, I just have a clean installation of WordPress and the first step is to install SeedProd. So we can head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. Next you want to click on the button here to get SeedProd and you want to select a plan that includes the theme builder. We're going to be using the new theme builder in this video. Once you have an account that makes sense for you, let's go ahead and click on login. And on the left hand side, let's enter your email address, your password and click on login. Next, we want to click on the downloads tab here, the second one from the left. And let's click on the orange button here to download the plugin. We'll also need the license key here in the bottom left hand corner. You can click that icon right here to copy that to clipboard. We can close this tab for now and come back to WordPress. And on the left hand side, we have plugins and add new. Up top, we have upload plugin. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we can actually just take the zip file and drag it here. Now, if you're using a different browser, you can click on choose file and then select the zip file from your hard drive. Let's go ahead and click on install now and activate the plugin. Next, Seaport's gonna ask you for your license key. Let's go ahead and paste that right here and click on verify key. If everything went well, you should see a green success message here in the top right corner. And if you're using the same or similar browser, let's close this tab at the bottom. Great, now we have everything we need to start creating our one page website. On the left hand side, let's go to the theme builder right here. So here's where you'll see a list of all of your theme templates right here, such as your header template, your footer template, any parts of your blog or main parts of your website. Right now we just see the global CSS file. Now, if you wanted to get a head start, you can click on themes here, and these are pre-made themes that come with SeedProd, and you can find one that you like, and then you can just click the orange button here to import that, and that'll set up all of your theme parts, such as your header, footer, etc. We're not gonna be doing that in this video since it's just a one page website. So we can close this and we could actually set this up with just one theme template if we wish. You could break it down so you could maybe create your header and then your main page and then the footer for that page as well. And then all of those would come together to create your one page website. In this video, we're probably just going to create a custom page and then include that on the entire website. Before we get started by creating our single template, we're gonna come over to the global CSS here and edit the design. Now here you'll see the drag and drop page builder but this isn't an actual page that you use on the website. It's just a style guide for you to use to change your colors, your fonts, your background buttons, etc. So for this, I want to go to the fonts and then I want to change our default header font and our body topography. So on the Apple Plugs website, they actually use Myriad Pro and that's not included in Google Fonts. That's a paid font, but there's a close match called PT Sand. So I'm going to set that as the header and I'm going to leave all the colors the same here for now. And we can come down to the body text topography and I'm going to set the same font here as well. And there we go. You can go down your page and you can make any other changes that you wish. For me, that's all I wanted to do. I'm going to save this and exit out. Now let's go ahead and create our one theme template here. So add new theme template. I'm going to just call mine main page since it's a single page. And here we can select the type. This is going to be a custom page and we're going to add a condition to include this on the entire website. And there we go. Let's go ahead and save this. And now this will open up the SeedProd drag and drop page builder. And this will allow you to customize the layout, the design and add your custom content here. So everything on the left hand side here, we have the template tags, WooCommerce template tags. These are grayed out because we don't have WooCommerce installed. Our standard tags, all of these, we can actually just drag onto our page. So if you want an image, just click and drag it in here. So before we started, I do have quite a few images that I already downloaded from the Apple Plugs website that I'm going to be using in this example. And now the header that they have is actually three columns. So we will start with the header up here and we'll click on this right here to add three columns. And now we can just resize these a bit. Let's go ahead and we'll click the resize icon. And now we can adjust this. So we have a smaller logo on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we have a buy button and then a menu in the middle. So we could do something like this. And now we can click here to go back to the blocks. Let's go and select the image. We'll put that here and click on this. And we're gonna upload our own image here. So let's click on this. And we have the media library. Here you can click on select files. And this is where you can upload and select all of your files for your website from your hard drive. I'm gonna go ahead and upload all of those. There we go, I have a small logo, a larger logo. There's some icons here. And then one major picture for each section. And you can get all of these from the Apple Plugs website if you like. I'm gonna go ahead and select the small logo for our header. There we go. And next we want a menu here in the middle and that is aligned to the right side. So let's look for our menu block. We can just use the search here. We have the nav menu under advanced. So we can select that and drop it here. 
let's select the block settings and we're just going to use the simple menu type and because it's a one page website these will actually be anchor links so when you click one it'll slide down the page to that section but we have three different ones here we have one called vision design and innovation so i'm going to go ahead and add those you can just click on this one and rename it and add your url link here so the first one here is text is vision and we want to add an anchor link here so we'll put a hashtag and we'll just call this one vision and we'll use this later for the anchor all right, I'm going to go ahead and add two more here. There we go, so I added innovation here. This is the third one with the anchor tag innovation. And I'll show you how to use that in a moment. And we have the design as well. And of course we have the vision one. So that's it, we have the three here. Let's make sure that we have those aligned to the far right. And it looks like this font size is quite small, maybe somewhere around 12, I would say maybe 13, somewhere around there. I think 13 looks good. Great, lastly, let's go ahead and add a buy button here on the right hand side. Clear that search block and we just want to look for a button. So we have it under standard and we'll just drag that here. Let's go ahead to the block settings and we can just change this to buy. And for the link, I'll do the same thing. This is going to link to the very bottom of the page, but we'll call that section buy. So I'll, I'll give this an anchor of hashtag buy. For the button size, I just want a small button here. And there's a lot of space in between here. So let's actually just make this really small so it hugs up against that button. The next thing you can see that the text here is a little bit higher than the button. So what we want to do is select the row. That's the blue outline. And if we come to the bottom right, we see the vertical alignment. We can click the middle here. That'll actually align everything perfectly here for us. All right now let's select this section here, the purple part. That's the whole section. And we want to go under advanced and under border at the bottom. Let's go ahead and add a solid border with a border color. It looks like a light gray on the website. And we want to uncheck this. And I just want one pixel on the bottom. And that's going to add a little line here. Great. And I want this a little bit more narrow in the height. So let's select this section. Come under advanced spacing. And we want to get rid of all of the padding here. So that makes it a little bit tighter looking. Great. Now we have our header already. The next section will be a hero content section. This will be quite easy. We have two images here and some text. So let's go ahead and add one column here, one row. The first block here will be an image. So let's go back and we'll look for an image block. And we'll just drag that in here. Now this is going to be the logo again, but the larger size. So I'm going to select that image and put it in here. That's perfect. Next, we have a, a little header under here. So let's go under standard headline, drag this here and update the text. And that looks good. I think I'll use an H2 just so it's a little bit smaller. And underneath that, we have an image. So let's go ahead and grab another image block. We'll put it right underneath the text here. Go to block settings and use our own image. For this, I have an image right here. I'm going to, going to select and we'll put that underneath. That's perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and create a whole new section and this is going to be two columns now there's going to be text in the left hand and this is going to be empty on the right but we want the text on the left side for the section we're actually going to add a background image here let's go ahead and add the text first by adding two headlines so one here and i'll add a second one and then we have some text underneath that let's update the text here on the first one and this one's going to be called vision and this will be linked from the header here and it'll come down to this section let's align this to the left and let's make this headline quite a bit smaller somewhere around h3 let's do the same thing for this text there we go and let's align this to the left and there we go that looks great i think i want to readjust this columns here so instead of making this bigger i want it to be on two lines but push together like this so right around here i think that looks pretty good here and then finally our main text at the bottom let's just change this and there we go so i want to add a background color to this whole section so we'll select the purple section and update the background color let's change this to eb 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 that's a nice gray color there again we're not adding anything in here because we're going to use a background image for this section so let's select the section again we already set the background color but now we want to also use an image so let's go ahead and select this image right here and i'll just import that now this whole section is quite tall so let's go ahead and adjust the height of it by going under advanced and then the spacing so here we can add some top padding and bottom padding let's uncheck this and add say 100 to the top and 100 to the bottom okay great so now we have this image that looks like it's coming out of the side of the page with some details on the left hand side of course this drag new block here section you won't see this at all on your page let's come down and create a whole new section we're going to do the same thing with two columns and this is actually all the same so we can actually duplicate these items and just drag one down i'll do the same thing with the header and the text next i'll update the text here next let's select the whole section here this purple section and we'll change the background color for this background we're going to use fcf 4 f2 it's kind of a light pink and we also want to go under advanced and add that spacing again to the top and bottom of the padding great this time instead of using a background image we're just going to place an actual image right in here so let's go ahead and we'll grab the image block we'll drag that here and go to block settings and use your own image this time we're going to use the pink background one here and import that 
Now that looks a little bit too big to me, so I'm going to change the image width here on the left-hand side. And there we go. I think that looks good. Now remember, you can select the row, and down here under Vertical Alignment, you can click here to align everything perfectly between each other. Great, so the next section is exactly like this one, so we can actually go ahead and duplicate this so we have two. I'm going to update my image first. We'll just do this in a different order. So I can delete this one and select the image that we want. This one right here with the light gray background. Let's go ahead and select our section settings and we'll change the background color. And this one will be F7, F7, F7. That one's easy to remember. We can close this. Next, I'll just update the text like we've done already. And there we go. I think that looks great. The only small thing I would change is maybe the line height of the text here. Let's stop. Let's start with the first one and go under advanced and topography. And we can actually just change this line height. Let's start with maybe 1.5 and then we can go up a little bit from there. I think 1.7 looks pretty good. Just open it up a bit. I'll do the same with this one and this one here as well. Okay, great, we have another section below this that's a little bit darker gray background, and we're probably gonna use a background image like this one. So let's go ahead and actually duplicate this. And on the bottom left-hand corner here, we have the layout navigation. So this is an easy way to select all of the elements on your page here. I'm going to select this section and drag it all the way down to the bottom of the page. And there we go, we can now close this layout navigator. Now we have that copied down to the bottom. First thing I want to do is update the section settings and change the background image. Let's delete this one and select a new one. And I'll pick this image right here and select it. Let's go ahead and delete this text and this top one as well. And let's resize the columns here. We can bring this over more. And I'm going to update the text here. Next, I'm going to change this text to white. Go under advanced color and just change that to white. For the section settings, for the background image, I'm going to change the background position here to 100% width top. You can choose whatever looks the best for you. And then I'm going to update the spacing here to see what looks good. So for advanced spacing, the spacing is based off the elements inside. So it's 100 on top of this and below. I think we want a little bit more here this time. So there we go. I think 150 on the top and 150 on the bottom looks pretty good. Okay, great. Let's add another section here. And I'll just select one row here, one column. And I want to add some icons up here. This is just going to be one image. So we'll select this image block and change this. You can see it's one image right across of all of these icons. You could break them down and put them into their own columns if you wish. Next, we want some text underneath here. So let's grab the headline. I'll select this and update it. Great. And then we have one more image underneath here. Go ahead and select the image block. We'll put that right underneath and update it. Go ahead and select this right here. And there we go. And there we go. Let's just update some of the spacing on the section. So under advanced spacing, let's uncheck this. The top actually isn't too bad. The bottom I might want a little bit more. It's actually too much. Let's go with 50. On the top, let's do maybe 25. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, lastly, we have our footer section, and this is what we're going to link our buy button to in the footer. So let's go ahead and create a new one with one column, and we'll start with a headline here. We'll grab the headline block and put that in here, and let's update that. Great, now on the Parity website, Nicer has an underline, so we can highlight this in the text editor here on the left-hand side and just put an underline. Great, and now there's a little bit of text underneath here. We'll get the text block and put that underneath and update the text and center this. And we'll just update this text to go around 12. I think that works. All right, we can add more text right here and we'll just update the text here. We'll put a little link here to the studio that created this parody website. And I'm gonna center this. And I think I'll put this around 12 or maybe even 13. Let's go ahead and put an underline on that. There we go, we have one more line. Let's just update this, the new text in here and center that. And perfect. Now all we have left is our opt-in form. So let's go ahead to our blocks and we want to look for the opt-in form under advanced. We can drag that right at the bottom here. Let's go ahead and select this. And let's go ahead, we'll hide the name and we'll make this a small box here so it has the button that's smaller as well. We'll keep it aligned to the center and we'll update the submit button text. Let's just put subscribe. And the background color we actually want to be a light gray. And the text will keep that white color. Next, this is actually too wide here. So let's go ahead and select the row here. And we have a row width that we can use. We can actually make this a little bit smaller. There we go, that looks good. Now let's just update the section with the background color, which was a light gray. And we can add a little bit of spacing here. So let's do maybe 50 or 100 at the top. I think 100 might be too much. Let's do 50 and we'll do 50 on the bottom. Okay, great. Now let's add our anchor links here. So remember our menu here is linking to different ones different anchor points. So we have vision, design, and innovation. We also have our buy button here. Let's click on this. And right now we're using a flat color. If you look at the parody site, it actually uses something that looks more like this one here. So under templates, we have the pre-made one. Let's click this. And it has that little white kind of gradient to the top of it. So we'll use that. Next, let's come down and use our anchor blocks. So here we have the anchor under advanced, and we'll put that right here on the vision. I'll update this and give it a name. So this one we called vision. 
and this will correspond to whatever it was here without the hashtag we could just put the word let's go ahead and add another one right here we'll call this one design and we'll do the same thing down here for innovation and lastly down here we had one for buy so we'll put that right on top here so it comes down to the bottom and we'll just call it buy so now when we click these links it should come down to the bottom of the page to that section let's go ahead and save this and we just have one more step here in the page builder so we have this opt-in form but we can actually connect this if you wish to a third-party email marketing service so for example if you want to use constant contact you can click connect connect to your new account Make sure you have a, an account with constant contact or any of these, and they will provide you with an API key. You can just paste that in here and then you can manage your list with that specific service. After you've done this, let's go ahead and save and we can exit out of here. And if we check the front page or any of our website, you won't see anything yet because we didn't actually enable the seed prod theme. So that is right here with this little toggle. Let's go ahead and click this and click OK and OK. Come back and refresh our page. And there you go. We can see the page that we just created you Can scroll down and it looks quite nice. Now let's just test our button. So we have vision, we have design that comes down to the design section. We have innovation. And then lastly, we have the buy, which will come down to the bottom of the page. Now that you know how to make a one page website in WordPress, maybe you'd like to check out this video on how to create a beautiful minimalist blog for writers, which will show you the basics of creating a complete website from scratch with Seedprod. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.